we will all offer the prayer of meditation. Almighty Father of Blessings, help us to receive that amazing promise that you will help us the storm. May we all receive the blessings of being your witness. As much as we love you, we will receive. Help us to wait till the end to become witnesses of being a king. I can't be patient, but Christ is the source of patience. By the mystery of Christ, help us to, to be patient, to wait. God's word, there is not one lie. You know our sitting, our standing. What is it that I'm living for? Help us to be witnesses of the word. May we, our families, receive blessings to fulfill the duty of man and to be patriots to our country. We believe that all our family will receive this. In Jesus' name we thank you and bless. Amen. Let's say together, sheep. We have to become sheep in order to be at peace and then we can receive all the blessings that God gives us and we can go to heaven. But it's very hard to find sheep, yet there are so many goats. A sheep doesn't harm anyone, but only gives profit. But starting from me, I say I believe in Jesus, but I don't give profit to others, and instead all I do is harm others. That is a fake Christian. So if you do not give profit to others, then you're fake. A sheep goes to heaven. A goat goes to hell. Matthew chapter 25. There's only two, a sheep or a goat. But there's so many goats. So there's so many goats. But a sheep only gives profit to others. But we don't give profit to others. Someone who seems to have a lot of human affection. That person is is a demon. If you have this, this lust, then God doesn't lead you. If you have lust, you do things by your strength. So, so you end up ruined. 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 9. Everything you do with your thoughts, God says he will help us at this dawn. But if your repentance is not enough, you think that you have love, but it's your thoughts. When you have your thoughts, that's when you'll be ruined. Yesterday, before I stood up here, I said, Lord, there's something I'm doing wrong in front of you. You're not guiding me. Yesterday I had to live by my thoughts. When I live by my thoughts, the people next to me, they all, they all like me. Why? Because they like to see you fall. Even uh, someone who's not a Christian was saying to me, Pastor, Pastor, you know, he greeted me three, four times instead of just once. You know, you're so popular. Even someone who I met for the first time, they kept saying, Pastor, Pastor. You know, instead of only greeting me once, they came and bowed three, four times. So then you, you start to rise up. And that is news that you're a fake. But that's how you fall. Even young young kids um, next to me, they were kept doing things according to their thoughts. You know, wanting to, you know, being greedy, saying I'm going to eat all this by myself. You know, hitting me, and and still I couldn't realize, even though these problems were happening. 
this is what happens in our lives. Why do these things happen? Why is it that I keep getting raised up and, and praised? That's all my thoughts. It seems like good, but it seems like you're going to do well, but you end up ruined. So yesterday, I had a really good experience. My thoughts, I had a little bit of th my thoughts in the morning. You know, according to human thought, it's, it's the right thing to do. But no, it wasn't the Father guiding my, my heart, but me living by, by my thoughts. And I couldn't escape from it. You know, even though I said I was praying, I couldn't escape from it. And I was going towards the way of the devil. How did you live? How are you going to receive help at, at dawn? Let's read together. But those who want to get rich fall into temptation and a snare, many foolish and harmful desires which plunge men into ruin and destruction. So you think that you're doing well, but you receive these praises from dogs and pigs. You go the way of ruin. Let's read again. Why? Why is it that I keep getting these trials? Why is it that I always fall? Why am I always failing? It's because you're doing things by my strength. Someone who does things according to their thoughts. You will be completely ruined, continuously ruined. You look at people who continue to get problems. This young child kept saying, oh, I'm going to eat it all myself. It was too spicy. They couldn't even eat it. And yet they wouldn't let anyone touch it and they were crying. And, and I thought, why is that child doing that? He is not like that normally. But I realized it's because I was crooked. That's why he was doing it for me. You know, when there were problems in your household, it's to show it's you that's crooked for you to repent but we don't do that we curse others and we backbite others and say the other person's a problem today let's finish this why is it that we keep causing these these trials and snares in front of us if we're caught in a snare we can't we can't go all we do is fall why? Why cause this upon our families? Because of my thoughts. If you don't have joy, you know, this is why we don't have joy, because you're following your thoughts. People who follow their thoughts don't have joy. Having joy is faith. If you don't have faith, then you're a demon. Let's find Deuteronomy chapter 27. Disobedience is curses. At dawn, God says he'll help us. But if we don't have joy, <coughs> excuse me, so if you're joyful, even though you're tired, you still feel refreshed. To the weary, God gives power. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 29. But if you're tired and all you do is get more irritated, that's because you don't have joy inside of you. You end up making excuses, grumbling. That's because you're following your thoughts. So even if you use an employee, you always use an employee who is exactly like you. Even if you choose a good person, it's always like with like. So you'll always choose someone who is like the owner. And then the owner says, oh, that person's a thief. No, that's you. Oh, that person's got this bad habit. Oh, that's you. It's like with like. You know, swallows sparrows only are with sparrows not with crows it's like with like 
The whole Bible speaks of like with like, sheep with sheep, goats with goats. So who is it that's around me? That's how you can know yourself. Let's realize properly and only receive blessings. Let's read Deuteronomy 27 verse 26. Cursed is he who does not confirm the words of this law by doing them and all the people shall say Amen. Amen. All the words of this law, if everyone, everyone needs to say Amen. So if you don't obey, that's curses. That's what God has recorded. So if you're not doing well, if you've got curses, does that mean you've obeyed or not? What is it that you haven't obeyed? You haven't obeyed the law. That's fine. Proverbs chapter 28, verse 9. Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. If you forsake the law, God will forsake your children. What is the law? Romans chapter 3, verse 20. It's to repent. It's to realize your sin and to repent. So when you repent, that's when you receive the gift of faith. That's when this law enters inside of you and becomes the word, which is which is power. 1 Thessalonians. So if you do not know the law, then God doesn't even hear your prayer and your children, He they will all be ruined. That's Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. Let's read it together. He who turns away his ear from listening to the law, even his prayer is an abomination. Amen. So, a man is someone who prays without ceasing. God's commandment is that we need to pray for others. So when we pray, a, pray that a prayer without the law, God doesn't even hear it. So a, so a prayer without repentance, God doesn't hear it. So we do these things that should receive curses, and yet we expect to do well. You know, people who seem to have human affection, that's lust. They receive praises from dogs and pigs. They have to do everything by their strength, and they receive curses. Without receiving God's guidance, Everything is problems. Everything is tri trials. So, you know, these trials and snares do not depart. Why? Because we do things outside of Christ by my thoughts, my theories. How can we tell if it's my thoughts or God's God's guidance. If I'm receiving popularity by man, then you need to be careful. If you're receiving curses for Christ, then that's when you're blessed. So, whatever you do, you need to discern. If someone who doesn't know you and keeps raising you up and greeting you, then without you realizing you will fall, you need to to discern. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 19. If you do not realize that you are a beast that perishes. So if you don't hear what, then what? Who, why won't your prayers be answered? Because you don't hear the law. So Romans chapter 3 verse 20. Listening to the law is to realize your sin. God doesn't hear that prayer because you haven't repented of your sins. We have to do well. We have to receive help this dawn. Let's read Proverbs chapter 3 verse 20. Amen. So if you scorn the law, if you are not interested in the law, then God won't hear that fake prayer. That's the prayer of a shaman. What is this law? It's to realize your sin. After you realize your sin, then you have to, you have to act completely. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 7, let's find that. That's when your children receive blessings. So if you if you scorn the law, then God will forsake your children. Hosea chapter four verse six. Let's read it together. A righteous man who walks in his integrity, how blessed are his sons after him. So if you've realized your 
sin via the law, then you have to do the four steps. You have to completely fulfill the four steps. That is someone who is righteous. That is someone whose children do well. So Jonah, he acted completely. He, to, he, he acted completely by ending off with thanks. That's how he did well and his children did well. That's all of Job. So what kind of person do we want to become? Uh, sorry, that's all of Jonah chapter 2. So every time you're supposed to repent, there are people who just jump up and leave. That person has demons. If you're repenting properly, you, you don't just jump up and go. Yes, if you're busy, you should. But that's just the exception. Those people who can't pray, that means you need to realize you're going to follow your thoughts, the way of ruin. You need to realize. So, you know, there are people who just repent of just about one verse. That's a demon. That person, they can't eat the word. You know, a baby, yes, they are, they only drink a bottle of milk. But you say you're doing forced repentance for one, two years and you're still just eating one Bible verse? That means you can't get up. You, you'll be lying down. That's a demon. And that's why you're falling asleep. You're doing other things. We need to pay attention. Oh, if you say, I'm too tired to eat. If you don't eat, you'll die. If you're not holding on to God's word, you will die. So I ask, what are you doing? And they're holding on to one Bible verse the whole day. That's a demon. That person's outside of Christ. You're living according to your thoughts. You have nothing to do with God. That's not realizing your sins via the law, but you're a Pharisee who's scorning the word. You're on your way to hell. So you have to continue to examine yourself. What am I doing the whole day? So, if, so go to the toilet and, and repent and have a new start. Walk with the Lord whenever you pray. God only hears the, the prayer of the of the of the chief priest so if we are not chosen if we aren't repented if we don't repent and we don't pass the mystery of godliness then God will not choose us that means we live a life of ruin that means our children fall and they they have failure let's have a new start let's let's not be deceived let's close our eyes quietly are you following demons following your thoughts your theories people praising you is that god praising you or being praised by by beasts by those who are enemies of God you need to discern it's when we are cursed by the name of Christ that's when we're blessed when we're cursed by the name of Christ so how can you become the son of God only the son of God is a blessed man only the blessed man is the son of God how? how do we become the son of God when we're cursed for the name of Christ so, being the son of God is blessing. Anything other than that is curses. Which way am I going? What am I passing to my children? If you are righteous, then your children will receive blessings. But if you are evil, your children will receive curses. There's no other way. So which way do we want to go? You know, there are so many wicked people. You know, careers in this state, yet people come to Korea just to I mean, come to our church just to have a look around. You know, that's cursed. And then, and then they say, why am I not doing well? That's because your ancestors did filthy things. What, you're going you're gonna to just have a look at God? If you don't obey, you'll be cursed. There are so many wicked people. They treat God like he's an idiot. He knows your every thought and action. And he will pass it down to you and your children. 
1 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 5 yet they don't realize if you don't obey there's nothing but curses but these fakes the thing with them is they do not repent even from 10 years ago these fakes that come they never repent because they forsake the law their children are forsaken that person they come just to have a look that person will be struck let's awaken from this let's become a blessed man let's be cursed for Christ that's the way to save ourselves our children and to be a patriot father you know our every thought and action Psalms 139 verse 1 you know our sitting and our standing am I doing something inside of Christ or doing something out of my lusts God knows when these strange things happen around me Proverbs chapter 4 verse 19 we are wicked because we do not realize please forgive us please have pity on us you know we say that it's love but it, it but it's lusts we say it's inside of Christ but we follow our thoughts and our theories and yet and we're mistaken to thinking we will receive blessings when can we genuinely give profit to others I can't but only those inside of Christ those who are guided by God help us to become a blessed man may we only plant blessings in Jesus name we thank you and bless Amen if you have a lot of problems happening today you need to realize that I follow my thoughts and my theories and I've and I'm falling in my trials and snares. May we have this wisdom. 